when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. The beautiful Edith signifies the start of the light heavyweight matchup, which features the debut inside the octagon of Sokaju taking on that man, Lyoto Machida. Here we go, first Machida. one, you ready? You ready? Let's do this! Here we go! You know, it's almost like Joe right now, because this man is so highly touted, you almost want to just sit back and watch Sokaju and soak it in. Catches a quick jab. That was a straight left. Yeah, it was, pardon me. Machida, this is what he wants. He wants to just move in and lunge forward with punches and then get out. High kick, kick by, by Sokaju. Oh, big punch, big punch! Big right hand by Sokaju. Clinch by Machida, takedown by Sokaju. And a sweep by Machida. He's looking for a Kimura. Straight left by Machida, then a big right by Sokaju. Now they work to the ground. Machida on top, controlling Sokaju in the half guard. Joe, and as you pointed out many times, technique can overcome strength. Absolutely, but you know what? Sokoju's got some great technique as well. <laughs> I'm sure he's not too used to being on his back, nor did he probably expect to be on his back much against Machida. Machida, very relaxed right now, trying Machida to get himself to a more dominant Kimura. position. Chita trying to work the right arm of Sokaju. He's got the Kimura locked up. He's turning into an inverted arm bar. Half guard for Lyoto Machida. Sokaju looks calm under there. Sokaju training with Dan Henderson. He's had to been put through the ranks and put through the works. That's for certain preparing for this big night tonight, the African Assassin. But early, Machida looks good. Now, Machida's stuck in Sokaju's half, bar, half guard, but you can finish the Kimura in half guard. Matt Hughes finished Joe Riggs from that position. He's lost it now. Now he's just got head and arm control, and he's going to try to pass. What he's going to try to do is use that foot that he's pushing down on Machida's, or on, uh, excuse me, Sokaju's thigh, and get his left leg out. He's softening him up with some punches. As soon as he feels an opening, he's going to press down with his right leg. See, he's, he's got his right instep on Sokaju's thigh, and he's going to try to pop his left leg out from in between Sokaju's legs. You see that foot placed there on the thigh? That's what that's for. Sokaju has truly gone through the tortures of training at Team Quest, but he's been more than willing to pay that price. Almost represented his home country in the 2004 Olympics in judo. The real question, Mike, is how much training has he put in on his back? Right. Because, I mean, he's right now in this position, he's not looking to sweep. He, he hasn't been looking to, to grab control of, uh, of uh, Lyoto's body and try to roll him. He's, he's, not, he's not doing much here. He's just kind of holding this position. So, he's trying to get a guillotine now. He's got a hold of Machida's neck. 90 seconds little, remains. He looks a little lost under there. On the same, to the same point, Joe, Machida is only doing yeah, virtually nothing. Mario so they're going to stand him up. Yeah. Stands him up, which is, uh, you know, it's a little unusual because uh, Machida was controlling it. He was controlling that position. Tried to throw that straight left again. So could you. Good body kick by Lyoto. Was originally brought in by Dan Henderson to help Henderson train for a fight against Nakamura. And I guess the rest is history. They liked him, they kept him, and now So could you looking to create his own legacy. 40 seconds left in the first round. With the control by Machida, the first round certainly appears to be his. 
with 25 seconds still on the clock, where anything take can happen. Takedown by Sokaju. Good takedown indeed. Sokaju trying to change the mind of the judges. Steal back this round. Sokaju with some strikes. The body clinch. Lyoto has done a great job of avoiding damage, though. Even though Sokaju is throwing all these bombs inside, Lyoto has done a great job of closing the distance when necessary and moving outside when necessary. Now here's the takedown. Beautiful sweep, bang, gets him down. Now, as soon as he does that trip, Lyoto sweeps him, gets on top, and that was the rem most of the first round. Elbows to the side. You know, Joe, one comment you made in the first round was that Sokaju looked almost confused and, and out of it, but the one thing we have to consider is there's a lot of pressure on this young man. He's 23 years old, and we've talked about it many times. Octagon jitters do truly exist. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, this is a huge event for him. He was, uh, you know, originally supposed to be fighting in another organization in Japan, and uh, they decided to not take that contract, take the contract in the UFC, a lot more pressure, a lot more people watching. And uh, against, a, like we said, a very elusive opponent with a lot of experience. You got to look at what, what Sokaju has is a 4-1 mixed ready? martial arts record. Only five bouts so far. The left worked early for Machida in round one. That straight left. High kick. Wow. Nice kick by Machida. Yeah, that no had a little sting by to Sokaju. it. So could you keep those hands up? UFC 79 Nemesis. Nice inside leg kick. Excuse me, outside leg kick. Second fight of this historic night. Right hand by Sokaju. See if Sokaju tries to push the pace a little bit. Machida is such a technician, you know, it's, it's so interesting to watch him fight because he's constantly setting things up. Instead of just relying on explosiveness and charging in, he's always looking to counter, he's always looking to feint in one direction and, and redirect them to another way. He's fast, he's accurate, and he is defensive in a lot of ways. He's a very unusual guy to prepare for because there's not a whole lot of guys you can get that are training partners that have this type of ability. Hey, log on to 80.ufc.com for more information on UFC 80 Rapid Fire. Looking for the head kick again, Sokaju. And out of the way immediately. Machida appears to be very relaxed in the stand-up game as well against Sokaju. Oh, good. Strike, straight kick. Well, what's going on right now is Sokaju is waiting for him, which yep. is never good. He He's a little confused by Machida's style, and he's starting to get mesmerized. But, Joe, as you pointed out, oh, a lot of He got caught. Sokaju got caught. And now Machida trying to take advantage. A lot of people confused by Machida's He's in a lot of trouble here. Assault and his style. And he's scoring big points again here in round two. Machida's passing here. He's in half guard. Joe, what is it that is so confusing to the opponents of Lyoto Machida? He's got excellent timing. I mean, he's a very intelligent guy, and his timing is awesome. And it's that style. He's got this karate style. It's just a very different style than, uh, you know, the, the brawling Muay Thai style. He's trying for an arm triangle on Sokaju's right arm. You see how he's got it trapped against his neck and his head? As soon as he gets his leg out of there, he's got it. He's got his leg out. Sokaju's in a lot of trouble. Okay, now he's moved to the mount position. He lost the arm triangle, but got a much more dominant position. And plenty of time for which to work. Still two minutes remaining in the round. Sokaju is getting owned in this fight. He, he has got to do something. Wins over BJ Penn, Stephen Bonner, Vernon White. The first ever to defeat Rich Franklin, Lyoto Machida. I, he's going for the arm triangle again, but this time he's mounted. So, so could you 
Joe escapes, escapes, at least for now. Yes, he escapes, but he, he's still on the bottom. Some Again, shots those elbows to the thigh area. Thigh. The IT band. I mean, if you saw the fights that Sokuju had in Japan, and then you saw this fight, you, you wouldn't believe it. I mean, he's getting really, really dominated. By truly kind of the master plan of Machida. Joe Silva just handed me a note that says this ain't Japan. And it is true. I mean, this is the most talent-rich pool of fighters in the world, and this 205-pound division is very, very deep. Machida again, trying for that arm triangle. And he's out now. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's seconds he's remains. The side. Plenty of time. So the juice going to slam. And it it is all over. Leono Machida remains unbeaten. What a very impressive, dominant performance from Leono Machida. Technique over strength. Tactics over aggression. Wow. Huge, huge win for Machida. On the international scale, this guy was so highly touted coming into this fight. And he had nothing, nothing to offer for Machida. Let's take a look at it again. Here it is, he's got the arm triangle. And as soon as that arm is trapped up against the neck, what Machida wants to do is get that right leg free. So he closes his hands together, gets that grip, pops that leg out, and he turns like a clock. Putting all that pressure against Sokaju's neck on both sides, forcing him to tap or go to sleep. Huge, huge win for Leota Machida. And the reaction of 